morning beautiful people today is the I'm not sure which day it is but we have an advent calendar that will tell us isn't it like so cute can I see it? wow today must be the fifth oh, no shit and and five is here let's open it together okay oh drum roll please Oh. oh! Yeah. Wow! It's a Fendi Bear and it's the 5th of December and today I'm gonna take you around with me in London and show you all the Christmas decorations and all the special things that you can do because this is the first weekend after lockdown and as you can see I'm quite excited about it. So let's come let's have some breakfast and let's go and explore the city i mean very rude of me but i didn't even present myself i'm so sorry my name is vasi and i like to describe myself as curious because i love exploring new places new cultures and also take you around with me whenever i get to travel and also awkward because Oh well, this is just who am I as a person and if you want to see more videos like that and more awkwardness, don't forget to subscribe. Here is your not so successful cake. Well, I mean like, it was a nice idea of you to do that, you know, I really appreciate it. But we have to eat it now. And before we go, I actually wanted to show you my outfit. Putting on jeans at this point seems like a fancy occasion. So I have my jeans, this thing which is super cozy. Basically that's it. Let me tell you what was actually the plan for our day. First of all, we wanted to go to Selfridges and, their, and see their Christmas market. This is the first year that they're organizing it and they have nine food trucks with food from all around the world and I guess this point you know that I love food markets and they also have different ferry rides and also this tunnel of light and I saw it at so many articles that I thought that I definitely have to check it out it's gonna be legend wait for it and uh, in, in the end we went to Ted Modern but let me just tell you that things didn't really end up as expected If you want to see more videos from London or travel related content, don't forget to subscribe. It really means a lot to me, plus you help me spread this video around YouTube. And it can also reach more people and help them when they are visiting London. And just in case some of you wondered how does the Ritz look like during Christmas time, how much money do they blow up on Christmas decoration when I don't really think there are many people visiting it at the moment, well, here it is! Or in case that someone can actually afford going there from my viewers, yeah, uh, go there and let me know how it is. And here is a little bit cheaper, more down to earth. I can afford this type of decoration. Guys, I actually have a big announcement for you. So this is the last video from December, which I'm making on my own. The rest of the videos will be special collaborations with my friends from Canada and also from Basically the US. Basically got fired. <laughs> yep, we, I guess you got bored of Ben, so no, I'm joking. I know you're not. And uh, this is also why my friends will be joining me and I'm also going to show you their amazing and lovely channels and I hope you love it. But before that, let's admire London. Just notice the amount of people that are queuing to get in. At this point I could just pretend that I went uh, to Selfridges for shopping but I just want to be 100% honest and transparent with you. I think with the Christmas market didn't really work because basically they told us that they had stopped letting people in. They had reached already the maximum for this day so by the time that we were there which was like five they said that they're not even sure if we could be able to go inside by the end of the day. They also had to wait at another queue to go go inside. 
and if you see it just like that looks kind of cool with all the lights and such a party mood but yeah wait until you hear how it is inside and just wanted to say hi and guys please let me know if you actually see me and hear me better because i just got this camera on black friday and if it's not worth it i need to know so i can return it when i say that it was madness in selfridges i'm not joking also this happened merry christmas merry how are you christmas. doing hey. oh thank you and of course from all the things that you can see in selfridges we went to the last floor where there are all the Christmassy things and of course toys because let's be honest Ben is secretly a kid Shh, don't tell this to anyone it's our little secret thank you so much for taking me here like the first the first four floors were just boring fashion stuff but now this is, this is amazing really happy this to meet you all the kids toys so, <laughs> the Lamborghini let's go let's go if they like this type of content, what should they do? What should they, what? they should subscribe. Like and like subscribe. And subscribe. We just left Selfridges and to be honest with you, it was quite an experience. And uh, I'm gonna tell you more later, but I don't actually think I suggest you going during Christmas time because it was so crowded. Like it was literally full of people and everyone was very aggressive. Uh, it was a bit of a toxic environment, as Ben says. And here is also another department store in London called Phoenix. And I just want to say that I feel like people have missed shopping so much because everyone was running around with their bags and to be honest with you i don't even think that i'm buying anything for christmas despite the camera that i got for youtube and for you guys okay guys i'm kind of happy that there are no cars and that they can stop traffic but at the same time it's a little bit too much so i'm sorry but i'm actually i'm out of here and at this point i decided that we can at least go and have a nice chocolate and it will all make up for this madness at selfridges guys i'm so so very sorry i feel like this is the video where everything goes wrong we also couldn't have hot chocolate because literally the chocolate had finished i'm not even joking and there was a queue of like 40 minutes where you could get only cake and not the hot chocolate guys i actually want you to take this as an example and just learn from my mistakes and my biggest tip is please don't go to selfridges and central london at the weekend unless you're ready to face like super big crowds and instead i actually have two other suggestions for you for things that you can totally do and will be way more enjoyable number one is to go ice skating i totally love ice skating in london it's super beautiful but uh, don't forget just to book this in advance and the footage that you see is actually not from london but just wanted to also tell you that i used to ice skate for like six or seven years when i was little but uh, going back to London, you can go ice skating at the Tower of London Ice Ring or at the Somerset House or in front of the Natural History Museum where I went last year and it was pretty cool but the ice skating rink is not very big. And in the evening we also went to Tate Modern where there is this amazing light and installation that celebrates the valley. Do you like it here? Oh, it's really nice and shiny but there are way too many people like taking pictures. But it's kind of cute and if you oh, come during true. the day of course you can also visit the museum which you totally oh, should here. do. This is just a massive installation that it's kind of a collage of mythology, pop culture, feminism and light and there are also statements like without us there is no britain which is a pro-immigrant message that we can get behind
It's so cool in here. I feel like that's my favorite place out of everywhere that we went to. Okay, I'm glad. What, what is this? It's tiger. Yeah. yeah, it is. Okay. And thank you all for being here. I'm super happy to have you on my channel and I will see you all next week with a special video collaboration. Bye! 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 Love you loads! Okay.